Hi, I'm Jim Kramer. I'm here with our energy expert, Dan Dicker. Dan, I'm worried about these storms and a lot of these great uh, independent oils that have been so hot, but have certainly cooled of late. Right, and, and you should be worried because um, just about all of them, Concho Resources, uh, Pioneer Natural Resources, uh, Cimerex today, they've all guided lower based upon these storms that have been going on in West Texas, which the last of which was Dion, which was very bad. And, and they're going to have a reduced production of somewhere between 4 and 6%, and that will uh, affect the bottom line. It will, it, will, it will affect earnings for the fourth quarter somewhere between 12 and 14%. And that's on top of uh, what we've already had, which has been, you know, a, a little bit of air coming out of the bubble. Right. Mark Popov, EOG being yes. part of that. Yes. About, you know, domestic uh, plays, particularly in the hot areas of right. the Permian. Now, I really do want to say that these are companies I want to buy. Yes. I mean, we, we recommended, I recommended Cimerex, mm -hmm. for example, which I still think is best of breed, even over Pioneer, although I, I won't say no to Pioneer. But we recommended it in, in the mid-80s, and we, we, we got out somewhere in the low hundreds. It went up to 110, mm -hmm. and now it's back towards 90. Believe me, I am itching to buy it. I'm just saying right now is not the time. Do you I th think people realize that this is weather related or will they see the headline number sell the stocks and that's when you buy? Well, I think that there's, there's a timing issue here and I think you're right that there are two things going on here. One, there is the, um, the air coming out of the bubble based upon all we've talked about, including right. the Mark Papa, you know, the discussions about mm -hmm. the Permian and the easy money being done. Yes. That's one. And the other thing is that these were just too hot. I mean, in, right. in the bottom line was, you know, you're going to get a lot of people who are going to take some profits here, funds that are going to look to, to pump a little bit of their, their prices. And that's something that you'll get. Uh, in these really, really, remember some of these, uh, you know, Pioneer was up 100%. Yeah, uh, I know. They, they well, take some money well, out. Well, I think this is a great call, Dan, because I'm looking for entry points uh, after we the want them. thing. And we want them. And then $90 this, on Simrex, we're close. We're all close. right, terrific, but terrific work. Week. No one's talking about these. One last question, Bakken. I hear a bad winner there. Top yes, two. I think that's right. And and all of these, I think that between the, the spread, the TI Brent spread, we, we, we won't go into deeply, mm -hmm and some of this negativity that's flowing around some of these shale plays, I think that the timing is on our side right now. So we should take it easy on these, look for a better point to get in. We want to be in for 2014. It's going to be a big story, but not now. Fantastic call, Dan. Thank you so much right. for joining us.